Good morning, my friends. It's Anna Marie Strahan, your faith coach, your faith and victory coach. And I am here this morning to give you a very, very powerful word. And I'm here at my open door, my front door. And this is where I do a lot of my praying and speaking to the Lord. And today I have a very strong word for you. I have this word for many of you. I believe it's also a word for the United States of America, for those of you who have been praying and interceding uh, for our America, for our president, for the church, and also for your families. Um, this is a very, very, this is, this is a big word. This is huge. Listen. I don't know. A lot of you will see repeated numbers, okay? And you, you, you uh, post to me, oh, I keep seeing the number 333, 555, okay? So the last couple of weeks, the Lord has been showing me the number 444 over and over and over and over again, 444. And um, when I was researching the number four in the Hebrew, because Hebrew is an alpha numeric language, okay? And every, every, number means a letter or it has a meaning okay so um i researched the number four and what the number four means is is it's delet right delet in hebrew is the number four and uh, understanding that delet means door delet means door so i kept seeing four 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 and the lord kept speaking to me saying four 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 open door four 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 open door four 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 open door and i was like yes lord okay four four give me more give me more so every time i try to release this word god just kept holding me back and then this morning I, when I woke up, I, I was scrolling through Facebook and I realized today is D Day, June 6th. Today is D Day. And I was like, wow, okay. So 444 open door and understanding that the letter, the letter, the letter Dilet in Hebrew means four, but it also is the letter D in Hebrew. It's the letter D. So I was like, wow, it's D, D, right? door 444 four, four. it's the number four it's the number it's it's the word door i'm like whoa okay lord give me more so i started doing more research and then i realized in my names of god my handy dandy little names of god book um i realized that another name for jesus christ yeshua uh is door right Jesus is the door. He is the gateway. He is the door and the gateway to God. Jesus is our opening to God. All right. He is the only way to heaven. Reference John and then John 10, 9. And also he's, he's the door of the sheepfold. Okay. John, John 10, 7. So this, this, this door, right, 444 door, I kept getting it over and over and over again. And I was like, all right, Lord, what are you trying to show me? And then today with D, D-Day, the triple fours, and I just, sometimes I just need to get really quiet with God and have him really give me the full meaning of what he's trying to speak to me. So I go and I do some dishes, <laughs> you know, washing my dishes, and I heard, take it by force, take it by force, D-Day, rush the gates, rush the doors, rush in for your victory, take it by force. And I was like, take it by force. That is in the word. And in Matthew eleven twelve, it says, <clears throat> from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence and the violent Take it by force. Another uh, another version of that is from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been subject to violence, and the violent lay claim to it. And, you know, I was saying a lot about claiming. You know, God's been telling me, claim this, claim this for me, claim this for, for me. And, you know, I know that a lot of us have been praying for the United States of America. We've been praying for the purposes of God. We've been claiming things for Jesus Christ. And, you know, that's a lot when I pray, when I intercede for America and I intercede for the land and I intercede for my family. And I, I say, Lord, you know, we, I claim my land, my property, and all that I have, I claim it for your purposes in Jesus' name. So I've been doing that a lot lately. And 
this all kind of melded together in a beautiful, a beautiful mixture for today, for D-Day. Now, what happened on D-Day? All right. The Allied forces, right, came in and stormed the beaches of, Nor of, beaches of Normandy. They were taking the enemy by surprise, and which ultimately led to the victory, uh, the ending of World War II, and the victory of the Allied forces, and especially the United States of America. And it also, right, it went in to release and rescue the Jewish people, the Hebrew people, from the hands of the enemy, right? To, to, to loose them, release them, rescue them from the hands of the enemy, to rescue them from captivity, from the hands of the enemy. You know, we're reading the book of Joshua right now in our Bible study, and it's just so powerful and just so encouraging. I love the book of Joshua. And, and the, the main thing that God keeps telling him is, he's, is God is going with him in his battles. Be bold and courageous. Move forward and, 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 and push ahead. Go boldly into the promised land. And, and this is what I, this is a word for all of us right now as Americans, if those of us who have been, um, you know, pressing into God and praying and, and, you know, you know, a lot of people ask me, am I praying wrong? Am I praying wrong? You know, I used to be that kind of prayer where I'd be, oh, like, please, God, just let this happen. Please, God, please, God, please, God. No, you know, the more I read how uh, the victorious people, the, the heroes of the Bible, they weren't, oh, please, God, please, God, people. They took it by force. King David, he took it by force. He ran towards that giant. He ran towards that giant. Amen? So this is your word for today, the 444 open door, right? We have an open door into the throne of grace. We have an open door directly to the Lord. It is time for us to take our prayers boldly, to God. We need to go forward and we need to go forward powerfully. And we need to go forward with decrees. And we're going to pray at the end of this broadcast. And I want you guys to just sum up, to, to rise up all that courage that you have inside of you. You are the allied forces today. If you are an intercessor for the United States of America, or you've been interceding for your church or your schools or anything like that, it's time for you guys to rise up up, right? The, the door dropped at the end of those, those, uh, those ships that carried the, the troops. And then they stormed the beaches of Normandy boldly. They went, right? David went, ran boldly to Goliath at the giant and took him down. You know, it, Jesus says, come boldly to the throne of grace. And it says that, that we have to take it by force. We have to pound the doors of heaven. Pound the doors of heaven. Pound the doors of heaven. Right? And God's saying right now, the doors are open. That's why I kept seeing the 444. The, the, the doors are open for us right now. And we have to move in and we have to come to the throne of grace. And we need to come before the Lord and say, Lord, your word says that I am to take it by force. Right? Just like in the book of Joshua. You want me to be bold and courageous and go. You told us, right, to, to, to boldly come before your throne. So, Father, here I am. I've come boldly and courageously to you, and I lay claim. I lay claim to what is mine. I lay claim to our schools. I lay claim to our government. I lay claim to my household. I lay claim to my children. For your purposes, Lord God. And I call forth right now, and, and, I, and I come in the name of Jesus Christ, the door. I come in the name of Jesus Christ, my doorway. And I lay claim right now to what is mine. What is mine, what is rightfully mine. Because your word says that these treasures are being stored up for me. And I lay claim to them right now. I want them. I want them. I want them. I want complete healing in my body. I want complete and total restoration of my finances. I want my inheritance, my promised land. I want it now. I'm taking it by force. I want safe schools. I want um, a godly, godly government leaders. I want you. Know, 
This is what I'm telling you. We are told to go into that doorway powerfully. It's D-Day. It's time to storm the doors of heaven and go for it. Go for it boldly. No more namby-pamby whiny prayers, people. Oh, please, God, please, God, please, God, please. No. You know what? I think that in this time, you know, in this day and age, that God wants to call up more Davids. He wants to call up more courageous leaders. He wants John the Baptist, right? Davids, um, Joshua's. Okay, those who are going to be bold and courageous and not be afraid to storm the gates, storm the gates. God loves gates. You know, I'm finding out that God, the more I read the Bible, the more I read about gates and, and the, you know, us commanding the, the authority that we have in Jesus Christ, commanding the gates to open, commanding those gates to come down and we go in and we, we, we go in and get what, what is rightfully ours in Christ Jesus. Amen? So listen, if you're seeing 444s, it means that God is giving you an open door. And I believe this is the season right now for those of us who are intercessors, who've been pressing in and praying for America, praying for our schools, praying for these things. You know, I remember uh, when I was um, going to the first landing cross, and I thought, oh, you know, if I'm going to write these prayers, I really probably need to be a little conservative about these prayers because maybe not everybody that's going to be praying with me is going to be as bold as I am. You know, they might think, oh, no, she's being too bold with her prayers. You know, and I thought, you know, I, I better. And the Holy Spirit said, no, when you go to that cross, you have one opportunity to storm the doors of heaven. That's a gateway. That is a gateway to the United States of America. And you are there to go and decree and lay claim to the land for the purposes of God and call forth the angel armies right now to fight for you, to fight for America, to fight for your children. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> okay, Lord, you know. So... Don't worry about what other people think about your prayers. Don't worry about being too bold and the other person over here going, oh, wow, look at them. You know, you know. They, should be, they should be begging God. No, no. And, and I, I, I've been convicted by the Holy Spirit many, many times for not praying bold enough, for not praying bold enough. So listen, my friends, 444, God's saying the doors are open. It's time to storm through them in the name of Jesus because he is the door. It is time for the number four, the number, the number D, door. The meaning is door. It's an opening. D, King David, right? Run towards that giant. The door is open. D-Day, right? Run. Take down your enemies. God is with you. The angels are with you. It is time to be bold and courageous and take it by force. The door is open. And, you know, in the, in the more I study Hebrew letters, it's so, this is God's language, all right? And, and uh, it's, it's just so, so amazing. The Hebrew letter D, Dalet, right? It means door. It also means the number four, all right? And do you know where it came from? The more I studied it, if you look at the ancient Hebrew over here, it looks like a triangle, okay? All right, you know what that is? The Hebrew people lived in tents. They lived in tents. Okay, so because they lived in tents, right, what does a tent door look like when you open it? All right, you take it from the corner up, right? It looks like a four, right? The corner of the fabric of the tent, it looks like a four. Open door, open door. Is that powerful? All right, so we're going to pray. Hang on, i got to plug in my laptop because it's about to, battery's about to go. Okay, here we are. I'm here this morning drinking my coffee, and um, we're going to pray, okay? We're going to pray. All right, so listen, my friends. When you think about the United States of America, right, the militia, they stood up and took it by force. They said, no more. We are taking our land. We are taking our country, okay? Intercessors, this is powerful for you today. You have an open door right? To take it by force. The door is open. It's D-Day. It's D-Day. And it's D-Day for you. Those of you who are wanting to get your promise, your inheritance, your breakthrough. Woo, honey. It's, today's the day, right? Open door. 
Open door, number four, D-Day. Let's go. Let's rock this, everybody, okay? Just pray with me, and I'm going to pray over you and receive this now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach, your doorway, Jesus, you are the doorway to the Father. You are the doorway to the throne. So, so Jesus, we ask you today to be our doorway. We have a word today. The 444, the open door. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for speaking to me and that I can speak to your people today. This is what you want me to tell them. And I and I, I, I am so excited, Father, that you have given us this door today, this open door to, to come boldly to your throne and, and petition you, Father, boldly in the name of Jesus. Father, today we petition you right now for the violence to stop in our schools. The violence to stop in our schools in America right now in the name of Jesus. We petition you, Father, as we come boldly to the throne of grace. And we ask you right now, Father God, that every single work of the enemy in our government, every demonic work stops now in the name of Jesus. And we ask you, Father, to send out your troops. Send out your, your warring angels and your heavenly hosts right now to storm, storm, storm the enemy's camps, to storm the camps of the, of, of the demonic, to storm their camps. Just today is, is D-Day. And we ask you, Father, to send out your warring angels, your heavenly hosts, your hornets, like you say in the book of Joshua. Send out your hornets before us today. Send out your hornets across America and across this world to destroy the enemy to destroy their camps, to destroy where where they are are um, squatting, because everything belongs to you, Lord. Everything belongs to you. So we come boldly to the throne of grace, and we lay claim right now to the United States of America for your plans and purposes, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we ask you to release your warring angels right now and to take it by force to take it by force for your plans and purposes in the name of Jesus. And we lay claim to it for you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we intercede right now for our president, for all of our leaders right now, that anything of the enemy that is influencing them or influencing our government is cast down and driven out right now in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Yeshua. And right now, Father, we also come boldly to your throne because we have this open door and we lay claim to all the promises, the promises that you have for our lives. We, we, we want our promise and we take our promise right now in the name of Jesus. We lay claim to our promised land in the name of Jesus. We lay claim to our inheritance right now in the name of Jesus. And everything that the enemy has stolen, he must release now and pay us back right now in the name of Jesus. And we ask you, Father, to send your warring angels out right now and go and retrieve our inheritance. Go and get our land. We lay claim to it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come before your throne of grace and boldly petition you, Father. Boldly come in and ask for what it is that we want, because your son Jesus said to the blind man, what is it you want? So we are asking right now for what we want, and we are laying claim to it, to what is ours, to what is divinely ours, that you have 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 given to us, that you have, have written for us in our scrolls, in our, in our divine um, plans for our life, because Jesus Christ is the author and finisher of our lives and our faith, and the enemy cannot touch it anymore. So, Father, we've come boldly before you. We've come bravely before you with, with our, 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 our uh, requests. And we thank you, Father, for this open door. We thank you that we have a D-Day. Thank you, Father, for giving me these, these um, signs and these messages through your Holy Spirit. And, Father, I, I, I ask you to send the Holy Spirit to everyone who is hearing this today. And, and, and they will, the courage Will, will lift up and rise in them, that they will, they will see that they can come boldly before you, Father, and that you will receive them because you are giving us an open door today and Jesus is the doorway. And we thank you, Father. Oh, we thank you for your goodness and your glory. And we are taking the kingdom by force because we want to advance it 
for you, Father, for the Lord Jesus Christ, for the gospel of Jesus Christ all across the world. In Jesus' name, we thank you for this day. It's D-Day. Hallelujah. Victory is ours through Christ Jesus. Woohoo! Amen. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy Spirit just took me over there. <laughs> Listen, share this up. For those of you who know people who have just, you know, been begging and begging and begging the Lord, that this is this, you need to share this video. And, and tell them, look, today is D-Day. It's time for you to go boldly before the throne of grace with your prayers and peti petitions. It's time for you to take it by force. God wants us bold and courageous like Joshua and David's. It is D-Day, 444. Doors are open. Ready? Go. You can do this. I release you in the name of Jesus. Go. Claim it. Take it. It's yours. Hallelujah. Woo! Praise God. He is good. Open door. Amen.